This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Well, I have to say that I'm very pleased with how things have turned out here for us inside our browser. We have our logo and our header and our menu happening. We have our slideshow, our self-running slideshow happening there. Our center boxes, if I scroll down just a little bit here, are looking fantastic. Again, we have selectable, searchable text here. It's not a graphic, which is great. And of course, we also have our scrolling iframe, our scroll box there, which is great. We got that into place. And then finally, we have our social feeds happening. So what else is there to do here in relation to our layout? Well, give me a second here. I'm going to flip back over to Dreamweaver. What about uploading our finished work? Everything's functioning really, really well here on our local machines. Now what we want to do, the last step in our workflow is to upload our completed work. And it's all going to happen inside Dreamweaver in kind of an unlikely place inside Dreamweaver, the Files panel, as a matter of fact. So go ahead and flip over to your Files panel. And what I'd like you to do is go ahead and click on this icon right here, way over on the right-hand side, this Expand icon. Click on that guy, and all of a sudden, the Files panel expands into two columns. And what we have is what's referred to as our local files or our local site on the right-hand side. So all of these files are on my computer. And then over on the left-hand side, we would have our live server, our remote site, if you will. Now, notice here it says to see the files on your web server, you must define a remote server. We haven't done that yet. So go ahead and click on this blue text. And what will happen is Dreamweaver will bring us back into our site setup dialog box, and it'll bring us down into the servers category. And it says here, you'll select the server that will host your pages on the web. Now, we don't have a server created yet, so go ahead and click on this little add button here, the little plus icon. Go ahead and click on that guy. And what we would do inside this screen is plug in all of our server info. So you can give your server a name, that's optional. You can decide how you want to go about connecting to your remote server. Now, FTP is the most common connection type. And then below that, we'd have our FTP address. Now, usually your FTP address is going to be something like ftp.yourdomain.com, something like that. And then you would have your username and your password as well. Now, unfortunately, this is one of these things that I can't actually show you. I can't actually plug in my info here. Otherwise, you could connect up to my remote server, which is no good. So you're going to have to plug in your info, your server info. Now, you might be wondering, well, where do I get this info from? Well, your service provider, your hosting company, should be able to easily provide this info for you. You come in here, you plug it all in, and then you would click on save. Now here, I'm just gonna go ahead and click on cancel as if I had added this in. Then we would have a server added to our list. We'd select that server and then click on save once again. And again, I'm just gonna click on cancel. Now, once we have established our remote server, what we would do here inside the files panel is we'd click on this icon here, this connect icon looks like two little electrical plugs. When we click on that, what happens is the left hand column of the files panel springs to life and connects up to the remote server. So inside this left hand column, we would see all sorts of files and directories, folders, things like that. And then what we would do is we would go ahead and move our files. Now, how do we move our files? Well, what we would do is we'd grab them here on the local side. If I want to grab individual files, I'd just use Control or Command, and I'd grab those files, whichever ones I want to upload, and then I would click on this blue up arrow, Put Files. Perfect. If I wanted to move the entire site, what I could do is I could grab the first file, scroll all the way down to the bottom, hold down Shift, and grab the last file, and then upload everything. Now, when you're uploading your site, make sure you grab all of your files, including any subdirectories that you might have. Notice here I have scripts. There's the shadow box subdirectory as well. All of the files have to go, okay? So make sure you have everything uploaded. And then, of course, 
you want to navigate to your live site, navigate to your live domain name, and make sure that everything's functioning correctly. So there you go. That's the finishing touches, the last step in our web workflow, uploading your completed site.